Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my Sephora recommendations and wish list video. So if you guys are anxiously awaiting the start of the Sephora VIB sale for the fall, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on my channel. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so I don't know if it's just me. It definitely is just me. I don't know why I said that, but I have just been giving myself all kinds of stress about filming this video because I put a lot of pressure on myself when it comes to recommending favorites. So I went through everything I had bought this year from Sephora and I tried to pull the best of the best of the best, things I've been reaching for over and over again. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this video will spark some ideas for you guys. I also want to share with you guys my wish list. So I know I watch tons of videos like this when it's time for the Sephora sale. So hopefully this will help you guys out. I did also film this look. It is going to be Testing Your Makeup episode 42. I'm not sure if I'm going to have that live yet, but if I do, I will link it down below. Otherwise, just watch out for it if you're curious about any of the makeup on my face today. And as far as the Sephora sale goes, if you guys feel like using my affiliate link to shop the Sephora sale, I thank you so much in advance. I will make a small commission off of that sale, and so it's a free way to support my channel if you guys are going to be ordering from Sephora anyway. And if you don't want to use my link, that is totally fine. Just make sure you're using somebody's link because it really helps us all out as creators. Okay, so I have my list. I have my products. So let's start off. Let's start off with the most obnoxious thing that isn't really a new product, but they keep launching new shades. And I have all of them. So I was by some luck or some might say you know working so hard hustling my butt up <laughs> in the last few years I did end up on the rare beauty PR list and oh my goodness the way I squealed like a little piggy when I got this particular package in the mail I have all of the liquid blushes from rare beauty I think these are fabulous if you are on the hunt for a liquid blush you probably won't need another blush for a lifetime if you use these every day but there's so many colors, there's some bold shades, there's some neutral shades, so, so nice. So yeah, I just wanted to mention the Rare Beauty liquid blushes in case you guys were interested in these. I actually bought the two new shades before I got on the PR list. So Worth and Virtue are her two new shades. And I also own the shade Joy before I got this very generous PR package. So figure we'd uh, start it off with a bang some of my favorite liquid blushes. Okay, I did try to limit my recommendations to things I had bought this year because otherwise we would be here for 150 years. So some of the things that I forgot to grab while I was upstairs was the Clarence Cryo Flash Instant Life Mask, I think is what it's called. It's an $80 mask. It was actually sent to me from Clarence and I recently saw it on the new stuff at Sephora page and I was like, I need to remember to mention that mask in my Sephora recommendation. So this is a mask that I've never experienced anything like it before. It is definitely cooling and it just gives you the most refreshing feeling ever. If you have sensitive skin, I don't know if it's going to make it like super tingly, but on me it's just very refreshing. It feels like I put like mint on my face and then when I take it off my face it just feels energized and fresh and I've just never experienced anything like it. It is a very pricey mask so definitely during a sale is when I would recommend you guys to pick it up. So that was one of the things I forgot to grab that's on my list. I also forgot to grab these products from Dry Bar. So I'll put up pictures but the Dry Bar cap, the shower cap, I bought it in one of the last sales. Super nice, super comfy. It's not too tight on my head and it has like terry cloth on the inside. So it keeps your hair nice and dry, which I use them at night when I shower because I don't wash my hair every day. So it's a nice way to keep my hair dry. And then the dry bar paddle brush, super nice, very well made brush. And 
I repurchased it multiple times. So love those two products, forgot to grab them. The other thing I forgot to grab is the Jonathan Van Ness Complete Hydration Air Dry Cream. This product I heard somebody else recommend and honestly I've told myself like I need to stop buying hair products because I buy this and that and my current hair routine works just fine. I get like interested in other products and I buy these products and I'm instantly disappointed. So I've noticed I have a very big graveyard of hair products and so I've told myself like no, no more random hair purchases. I will say the JVN air dry mask or cream or whatever it's called, it actually works really well. So my natural texture in my hair is actually pretty wavy. And when I get out of the shower and my hair is wet, it actually dries with a light wave to it. And the air dry cream does a really good job of creating some hold in my hair so you can see the wave, but it's not like crunchy like a hair gel. So if you wanna like celebrate your waves, I would highly recommend checking that product out. It's actually really, really good. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna talk about older products, but I do have a few things that I have tried recently that other people tried a long time ago that I realized are actually really good. Like this product, I will say this is the product I've been sleeping on the longest. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I did buy this when it first launched because so many people were raving about it, and of course, I was using it wrong. So. Basically, I didn't give it any time to dry down and I would go in either with a sponge or a brush and it would pill on me. And so basically what I realized with this is time is my friend and if I put some on and let it set, then it won't pill. I've used it with brushes, I've used it with sponges. The key is to let it be. So what I do is as soon as I get down here, if I'm gonna film, I put this on and then I go about setting up my camera, turning on my lights, give it some time to dry down on my skin, and then it works great. So if you're one of those people like me that is super duper impatient or doesn't make the time for anything, try and give this another whirl if you have this in your collection or you've been curious about it. It's actually really good. So yeah, this is definitely one of my most slipped on products, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and I really, really love it. So you might as well. Another product that I grabbed this year, kind of towards the start of the year, I haven't used since I've been hooked on the milk primer is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. Oh my gosh, when I first used this, I could actually see it blurring my skin. It was actually quite shocking because I'm one of those people that never sees a blurring effect. And I feel like I was like in a trance or somebody put like magic on me because I was like, oh my God. So I need to like get back to using some of these stuff, but I've been hooked on the Milk Hydro Grip. This is nice too because it's more of a serum. It's not like silicone or anything like that. It just feels like you're putting skincare on. So lovely product. I actually have a lot of favorite products from Glow Recipe. I feel like I don't talk about them a lot, but I actually was going through my list and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a lot of Glow Recipe stuff. And if you see my empties video, I don't know if it's up already. I have a lot of Glow Recipe empties. So I'm pretty proud of myself that I'm actually using some of my skincare and I really like this primer as well. If you're in the market for a primer, I'm pretty sure you can buy these on the Sephora website. I got one of mine on the Tarte website and then one during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. These are the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glows. Oh my gosh, these are so good. So I have the shade Deep Buff and Strawberry. And as you can see, these colors are absolutely lovely. Another liquid blush. Is there a lot of blush in this video? Yes. Is blush my second favorite product category when it comes to makeup next to eyeshadow palettes? Also, yes. So if you didn't want blush recommendations, you probably shouldn't have watched this video, but oh my God, these are so good. They're like dewy. I love the applicator. It's just like this big fat doe foot applicator and it just blends so beautifully on the skin. So I really, really love these. And like I said, they have a ton of colors, super convenient. I can't say enough good things about them. They're so good. Let's just do more blush because I have a lot of blush on top here. The other one that I only have one of these, but I can't afford to keep buying more of them. And I thought I picked a pretty unique color. So this is the Givenchy Prisme Libre Blush in the shade Flannel Rubis. I tried the powder, the Prisme Libre powder. I wasn't that blown away by it, but this blush is beautiful. It has the most beautiful finish to it. It almost looks like 
you airbrush your skin when you put this on. So if you're in the market for a really pretty, it's not like a coral, it's not a red, it's not an orange, it's just like a really pretty like rosy but more like a cherry rose kind of shade, you would really like this. So really, really love that one from Givenchy. Another great blush. Oh my gosh, I don't really love any of the other colors from these Dior Rosy, what are these called? The Dior Rosy Glow Blushes, but this shade Cherry, oh my god, it's so yummy. I just love it. It's not a coral necessarily. It's more like a coral red leading shade. It's more like the color of this bottle, if you ask me. So absolutely stunning. Gives you that like sunburned look, but also in the winter time, it's going to give you that like I've been outside and I'm a little bit cold, but I'm not an icicle just yet look. So yeah, absolutely stunning. I'm here for the red blushes. If you don't know, you know now. I also have more blush. Oh my gosh, I did grab these Gucci blushes. These are two of their newer shades. Again, not a new product, just some new shades. I love this one. It is called Intense Plum. It doesn't look plum to me. It looks more like that red shade that I'm into. And then of course, I couldn't say no to this. This is the shade Soft Red. It definitely looks more like a coral. So stunning. I love the Gucci blushes. There's a lot of Gucci makeup that I really enjoy. And that is definitely one of them. This is another product that I almost didn't buy because I don't really have like oily skin and I wasn't really into matte foundations or like matte skin at the start either. But this past year, I've just been really into either more normal looking skin or just a more matte or like a demi matte kind of look. I don't love my overly dewy look anymore. I feel like it just makes me look like I've been sweating. I don't know, my preferences are just changing, but another product that makes me feel like I'm airbrushed is this one from Milk. So this is the Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. Shake well before use. This one definitely went out of stock before the last Sephora sale ended. And I was like so salty about it because I didn't buy it and then I was like, like it's gonna come back in stock as soon as the sale ended and it totally did. I can't remember if I ended up actually getting lucky and getting this on sale or if I paid full price, but either which way, it's actually worth the hype and I really like it. I really like the mister on this. I actually like this better than their Hydro Grip Setting Spray. It works so well, one of my favorite milk products and I use this all of the time. Okay, next let's talk about some lip oils. So I have to mention the Rare Beauty lip oils. I did get these in PR. I will say these aren't like the most hydrating lip oils. I just think they are a fun kind of trendy product and they have some really nice shades so if you're looking for like a tinted lip oil that's relatively comfortable you'd want to check out these ones if you're looking for something that's heavy duty and hydrating you might not love these but they're really nice in my opinion they're not too goopy and they have some nice pigmentation to them so i thought i would recommend these to you guys as well okay we got lots of favorite concealers this year in my purchase bin so i bought this makeup forever hd skin concealer. This is the shade 2.5N. I really, really like this concealer. I love the foundation, of course, and so I'm so happy I like the concealer. I'm actually wearing the foundation today mixed with my Juvia's Place foundation, but this is so good. Again, it just does a really great job of concealing my very, very designer eye bags. And then another product that I can't live without that I bought a second one. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Con Corrector in the shade Mango. I love this. I have a Shop My Stash that I do every month and I just bought myself one for my Shop My Stash, but it's a very creamy concealer. I love the Faux Filter Concealer as well but this color works so well for me. I feel like it really helps minimize the under eyes and it's a favorite, highly recommend. My favorite concealer of 2023, I'm pretty sure, is the Tower 28 Concealer. This is the, what is this one called? The Swipe something concealer in the shade Pale, Pale, Pale Poly? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I did not expect to like this concealer because Tower 28 has a kind of like a skin tint and I love it for the summertime 
but this summer I didn't end up using it and I was like oh my gosh if they're coming out with a concealer it's probably going to be like the closest concealer very like lightweight great for people that actually get sleep and don't need concealer you know what I mean so I was expecting something not that great from them and I remember it was like love at first swipe with this thing it's so nice so creamy really helps under the eyes gives a little bit of hydration it stays put I really was impressed by this one so that's why I'm recommending it to you guys okay so we have a few complexion products one that I kind of went back and forth about is the hourglass this is the veil hydrating skin tint now their other product the airbrush blah 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 foundation was one of my favorite products of last year so I was like oh I'm gonna love this one and I wasn't sure I thought it was nice that I was like eh. now I still think it's nice it's definitely more of a skin tint so you put it on it's like your skin but better it looks beautiful on camera I love the packaging and so yeah overall this is a good product I would say go into it knowing it's a skin tint for me when I think of a skin tint I think easy it's a little less work than a full-blown foundation. I typically don't want to like hassle myself with powder and stuff like that. So I know people think differently about skin tints. It was a very interesting conversation that I had with some of my friends that have different skin type from me. So yeah, I know for me, it's just like something I want to put on quick and easy. And for that purpose, I think this is wonderful. Another thing that I totally fell in love with is this skin tint from Too Faced. I actually realize that I need to pull this back out and use it because I haven't used it in a while. This is the Born This Way Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade Warm Sand, another product I didn't think I would love, but my friend Angie actually was raving about this and I was like, let me just buy it during the Sephora sale. So I think in the spring, summer Sephora sale, this was like one of my last purchases and I really, really did enjoy it. I think it has decent coverage. I feel like I can bring it to almost like a medium coverage, which is not the standard for a skin tint so really really enjoy this as well and then i think this might be my last like foundation product in here but it's the fenty beauty ease drops ease drops this is the tint stick super nice i was not expecting to like this because i have the fenty beauty um ease drops and i didn't think they were that good but this is actually really nice i think i'm just a sucker for a good stick foundation because it makes it so easy to apply and it's just so convenient to just go like zoop, 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 zoop. and you guys know how much i love the huda beauty stick foundation i recommended that one so many times during this for sale so it's fun to have a new stick foundation to recommend. I really, really like this one and I wear it in the shade 14. I've got a few more things to recommend, but let's talk about fragrances really quickly. So there's quite a few fragrances I love, but I don't feel like I've talked enough about Ellis Brooklyn. So this is a fragrance line that I kind of heard about again from my friend Angie. She recommended or she was raving about this fragrance called A Chris. A priest, say a priest, a priest. I don't know. Okay, a a priest, a priest, a priest. This green one. So this one, it just smells like winter in a bottle. It smells like you're in this beautiful pine forest, and there's like a fire lit, and you're just like in this cozy cabin. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. So now with it being fall, I need to bring this out. And then I bought florist because. I just really liked how it was described and this one definitely reminds me of summer it's like a fresh floral fragrance it's not like too heavily in floral and oh my gosh it's just so beautiful it just reminds me of like college and summer and like hot girl summer I love it and of course I love the bright pink packaging I don't have any of the Ellis Brooklyn fragrances in the full size I just bought travel sizes but I have quite a bit of perfume, so I can't really justify the full-size bottles right now, but I love these. And then they very recently came out with this one called Apple Love. And this is basically supposed to be like their tribute to New York City. And oh my goodness, I just smelt it. And it definitely just reminds me of fall. It's like florally, but it has like a wintry note to it. It is kind of like the more 
like warm spicy version of floralist in my opinion so yeah they're so nice i've been carrying this one around in my purse so yeah it's been so so wonderful i love these fragrances from this brand they have a ton more i would like to add all of them to my collection but i'm gonna just hold on to these three for now and appreciate them and then the only other fragrance i wanted to mention is the clean reserve fragrance in the fragrance sparkling sugar and this oh my gosh <laughs> this is such a wonderful smell i had heard so many people talking about this i think it is oh gosh what's her name her and babs beauty they're like friends I can like see her in my mind, but I cannot remember her name. I'll try and remember to tag her down below, but she does like a monthly Sephora haul. And then in one of her Sephora recommendations, she said this is like her signature scent. And I'm like, oh, interesting. And then I smelt this in store and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. So it's called sparkling sugar. And I feel like the word sugar can be so intimidating because I don't love overly sweet fragrances. But this is like sweet and it has like a twist of like a freshness to it. If you just took like a beautiful shower and you were feeling nice and clean, it definitely reminds me of summer. So yeah, I've used up like half of it and I bought this obviously with my own money. So, oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful scent. So if you're on the market for fragrances, I know I don't talk about fragrances as much as some other YouTubers do, but I wanted to mention these four because I've been just like all about them the last year or so. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blush Lip. It has like a really long name to it. This is the shade Jubilee. I would buy more of these, but I need a cream blush. Like I need a hole in my head, so I'm not going to, but I really enjoy this. I love this color. It's a little bit different from the colors I usually go for, so I thought I would mention this if you've been wondering about these i know she's got a bunch of other stuff in her yummy skin line but i will say for me these are a fave these are from say and i don't love a lot of products from them but these glow highlighting blushes are so good this is the shade peach glow and these on the cheeks are stunning like i cannot even tell you and then this is quartz glow oh God, this is basically a highlighter for my skin tone, but it's so freaking stunning. You're not really going to be able to see it, but it's like a cream highlighter-y blush shade. So nice, so smooth, great texture. It's a cream product, so it really like blends into the skin. These are so good. <laughs> like I can't tell you enough. Love the packaging. A really, really nice product for you to consider if you're looking for a cream blush. Okay, next we have a lip mask. So this is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. This actually works. I feel like I've tried so many lip balms and lip products and I'm like always kind of disappointed or I think they're pretty mediocre. But this one's actually really good. It really hydrates my skin. I usually put this on at night and just wear it to bed and it really makes me wake up with really hydrated plump lips and then a lip product I bought based on my friend Angie's recommendation during one of the last sales this is the house labs La monster lip crayon in the shade maple matte this is such a pretty color such a comfy lip product and I love that it's in this like twist up like pencil style so it makes it really easy to apply precisely super pretty I wish they had more colors that I wanted to own but also, I'm supposed to be on a lipstick no buy, so, you know, there's all these contradictions in my life, but life is too short to hold people accountable for the silly promises they make themselves, like, don't buy a lipstick, you know, but, oh my god, so good, love it so much, and then for eyeshadow palettes, I was, like, thinking, like, what do I recommend, and honestly, it's hard, because if you watch sales, you could probably get all of these brands cheaper other places but if you're looking for good eyeshadow palettes at sephora my top three recommendations are abh tasha denona and huda beauty so of course i grabbed the fall romance palette from abh just to show you guys this is their latest launch so if you're interested in these like dark fall shades you might love this one empowered is huda's 
last like holiday palette and it's still available on the Sephora website. I did find a really solid dupe for this though. So, you know, depending on your budget, you might want to go with the dupe. And then, of course, Miss Natasha Denona, which I would, of course, buy stuff on the Sephora website, but Natasha Denona is now sold on Ulta's website and they're also really beefing up the customer service on their website. So, I got a code. I know so many influencers have codes with Natasha Denona. So you can save like 15% on her website if you use the code KH Makeup. And she just launched her midi xenon palette. And I was like going back and forth because I had an Alta coupon. I have my own code on Natasha. And then the Sephora sale was coming up. Of course, Sephora was out because I knew I wanted it sooner than the Sephora sale. Alta, I was contemplating it because I was like, oh, okay, I can just get it on Alta. But they always ship their palettes in like bubble mailers. Granted, Natasha Denona's palettes are always double packed, so probably would come relatively soon. But Natasha Denona has always been like two day shipping for me, and I want to get a video up for you guys obviously before the sale. So I bought it on Natasha Denona's website with my own code. But otherwise, I would probably say Sephora is the next best place to get it. Usually, like with I Need a Nude, I saved up a $100 reward. And so I basically got this palette for free, which I'm so proud of. But this is a gorgeous palette if you love neutrals, which like I love like neutrals sometimes. Like if I'm going to do like family photos or something where I don't want to be like too colorful, where I want my outfit to be the standout, I'm going to use something like this. And of course, this beautiful palette, the Yucca palette. I want to use this some more. It's such a beautiful, like, half neutral, half green palette. Sings to my tan girl loving soul. So, yeah, those are kind of all of my recommendations for the Sephora sale. All of these products I think I tried out this year. So I wanted to limit myself to 2023. Because like I mentioned at the start, if I started talking about all of my favorite Sephora products... We'd be here all day. Also, I have a Sephora VIB sale playlist where I basically put every recommendations video, my favorite Sephora product, all my wish list videos. All of these videos are in my Sephora VIB sale playlist. So if you want to sit and binge, that's going to be your go-to spot. I've been shopping the Sephora sale for years. I consider myself a veteran and a pro so definitely check that out and then I thought it'd be fun to share my wish list with you guys because I have been kind of waiting on some products so I've got a few things in my cart so let me head on over and I'll put pictures up for you guys of the things that I'm eyeing so in my actual basket right now I have from Ellis Brooklyn the Sun Fragrance Body Mist. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that, but I'm kind of curious about it. I also really want to get the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. It is $68 and people have been raving about it. And I know it's not really like me right away, but I feel like I would use this again for things like if I'm hanging out with my kids or I want something a little bit more toned down and I want my outfit to stand out or maybe during the holidays. So kind of have my eye on that although I feel like it looks very much like my I need a nude palette from Natasha Denona and I do really like Natasha Denona's quality so maybe I'll end up passing on that I don't know you guys will have to either talk me in or talk me out of that one I'm definitely gonna get this Mason Margell replica on a date travel spray that is another one of my favorite fragrance brand so this is a new fragrance from them so the keynotes are black currant rose petals and patchouli and so yeah i'm very very curious it sounds like a great fragrance for fall so i'll probably pick up the travel size of that and then i have two fragrances from fleur these are their new amber haze and mango mood hair and body fragrance mist so those seem like a dupe for the brazilian bum bum like their body spray so I'm curious about those because I do love Fleur's fragrances. I'm also thinking I'll probably get the Pat McGrath Mothership Brijoux Brilliance Starstruck Splendor Full Face Palette for $76. This one came out in two versions and I really like the eyeshadow shades of the lighter palette so I'm conflicted because 
I didn't really love the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection, but I love those eyeshadow shades. So since I'm able to get it on sale, I might do that. And then this Makeup Forever Mini Artist Color Lip and Eyeliner Set, this pencil set for $35 sounds so interesting because I've heard really good things about their liners. So I might grab that. And then this Gucci Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Janet Rust. Like, I feel like when I show you guys the swatch, you won't be surprised why I want it. It looks absolutely beautiful. The word rust is my love language. So yeah, I'm thinking about picking that up. And then I also am going to get the Anastasia Glow Seeker Highlighter in Sun Idol, which is a champagne gold. I did grab that on the Ulta website because... I had an Ulta coupon. I also want to try this K18 Damage Control Duo set, but like I said, I keep buying hair products and I don't really like use them up, so I might skip that. There's also so many cute sets I was going to recommend to you guys. If you're interested, these Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shade Truthberry. I was wearing it the other day, so it might be a good time to try those out. This little Glossier Mini Cloud Paint Gel Cream Blush Duo set. I do have a lot of the Glossier Cloud Paints, so this might be a fun way to try them. Tower 28 Lip Drip Cookie Butter Lip Gloss Set. I actually have the shade Chestnut, which is the like limited edition shade in this duo. I got it in this set a while ago, so I don't know why they did the same shade again. But I'm going to take Chestnut upstairs to use it. And then I've completely used up my clear one. So that's a product I use quite a bit. The Say Mini Do Blush Trio. That's a fun way to try those blushes because there are so many cute shades. I think I might get this Glow Recipe Pomegranate Peptide Firming Serum. Although I don't use a ton of serums. So I've got a lot of stuff in my loves list too that I kind of really need to go through and think about. I feel like for the most part, I'm not going to do too much damage during the Sephora sale, but once the sale is here, I always find things to buy that I get all curious about. But I hope you enjoyed this Sephora sale recommendations video. I really, really want you to do me a favor and recommend one product to me that is your must-have product from Sephora because I will be in those comments looking and seeing what my subscribers recommend and I'm sure you guys will be too because the sale is so much fun and who doesn't love a good discount let's be real here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and like I said in the start I will leave a Sephora link down below in case you guys want to shop through my link it really really helps me out and I am so so appreciative I will be back with another video very very soon thank you so much for watching bye